Kelly Palmers has a passion for horseback riding, but lately this is as close as she gets. Yeah, you're a good guy. You're a good guy. Painful damage to her hips keeps her out of the saddle. It really, really sucked. It was brutal not being able to ride when I love riding so much. The only way Kelly can ride again is with successful hip surgery. But at 21, she's too young for total hip replacement. Instead, she's getting a new procedure, hip arthroscopy, which is seldom done in Canada. Dr. Nick Motati has done about 80. Instead of cutting open the entire hip, precision tools and a camera are inserted directly into the hip joint through tiny incisions. In my own experience, what I've been finding is that if this is a simple problem, the results are very good. Using x-rays as a guide, Dr. Motati drills three holes or portals to the socket that holds the hip joint. Then, using the camera, he assesses the damage. Inside, Dr. Matati found a tear in the rim of the socket along with some damage to the joint itself. Using the precision-guided instruments, he has shaved down the joint. Now, he's working on repairing the tear. And that's done using a needle and thread, carefully guided through the openings and into the hip joint. It's a very difficult joint to get into. It's a very constrained joint compared to, say, a shoulder. The head of musculoskeletal health at Toronto Western Hospital says the jury is still out on how effective the operation is. What's clear is it isn't for everyone. I think hip arthroscopy at this point would be more for the younger high demand individual or potential athlete. Dr. Mohammed says the surgery will do little to help advanced arthritis, nor is it a substitute for hip replacement surgery. But in patients like Kelly Pomeris, where the hip is damaged by tears or loose bone chips, there is evidence that arthroscopic surgery helps. A week later, it's still hard to tell how it will turn out. It's been better every day and every day. Like it's, my hip is a little sore still and a little stiff just because I've been on crutches. So far, only a few doctors are doing the operation. But over time, it's expected to become an option for an increasing number of Canadians. Terry Reed, CBC News, Calgary.